My name is Dr. Paula Pop. I'm a resident in internal medicine in my second year of training at the University of Toronto. I'm working alongside the research team at Women's College Research Institute, as well as the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences, alongside my research supervisor, Dr. Paula Rochon. I'm interested in aging research for many reasons. First, I have an interest in pursuing a career in geriatric medicine, so the area of aging research is at the forefront of my academic and professional interests. Second, from a personal perspective, I have family members who live with disorders that are often associated with advanced aging. I have a particular interest in sleep and how healthy sleep is managed in the older adult population. Uh, it's been my clinical experience that oftentimes older adults who present with sleep-related complaints are often managed with medications rather than uh, attempting lifestyle modifications or non-pharmacological interventions that help with healthy sleep. Inspired by this, I'm working on a research project titled Management Patterns of Incident Sleep Disorders in Community-Dwelling Older Adults. I had the privilege of presenting the preliminary results of this study at the Canadian Geriatric Society Annual Scientific Meeting in April 2018. This study looks at how sleep disorders are managed in the older population who live in the community. This topic is important because sleep disorders are associated with increased healthcare service use, such as the initiation of a medication for sleep. These medications have significant adverse event profiles and side effects, which are amplified in this older adult population. It's because of this that first presentation of sleep disorders should focus on investigating underlying cause, as well as focusing on non-pharmacological interventions, things like lifestyle modification that can help with healthy sleep rather than starting a medication. Our study looks at older adults age 66 and older in Ontario who have a new presentation of a, health, of a sleep disorder and they present to their primary care or family physician. We have a particular interest to see how these individuals are managed, specifically looking at medication use, as well as highlighting how gender impacts how health disorders are managed in older adults. I think the results of this study would be of interest to many people, including members of the RTO. I think the results of the study would help uh, impact the healthcare system by uh, encouraging primary care and other physicians to manage first presentation of sleep disorders with non-pharmacological interventions rather than starting a medication. Next steps for this project include looking at how sleep disorders are diagnosed in the community, as well as submitting the results of this study to peer-reviewed journals so we can help share the results of our study with the rest of the medical community. Thank you for taking the time to hear about my project.